hey guys welcome back i hope you're all having a wonderful and blessed day so today's video i'm coming on to share with you guys what i carry inside of my travel bible bag and this is a bag that i usually will carry with me when i am stuck somewhere like at the parent pickup line where i'm there for a couple hours waiting for my kids to come out of school or if i am traveling and i want to carry these things with me these are some of the things that i carry some of it may be a little too much for you guys, but anyways, if you're interested in watching this video, please stay tuned and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. So with that said, let me show you guys my Bible bag. And this thing is super, super heavy, guys. Now, I do carry this bag around with me in the house. I have sticker books, washi tape. It's a ton of stuff in here <laughs> that I carry. So... First things first, this bag. I absolutely love, love this bag. It's so soft and just fuzzy. I found this bag at Goodwill mm, probably a couple years ago. I love to thrift, guys. That's one of the things I absolutely enjoy doing. So this bag here, what I did was I just added a little pin and this little fuzzy pom-pom to it. It's a soft baby pink. And as you can tell, I am a lover of all the colors and all the pinks. So here's an overview of what is in here. It is like so, so stuffed. And um, let me put it to the side. That way I have space to show you guys what exactly I have in here without having uh, the bag obstruct the view. <laughs> so right off the top, I have this little pouch here. And inside of this little pouch, I keep some extra page flags. I recently purchased these. I use them as Bible tags. And I decided to put them inside of here so I can easily access them. And that is one of the things I carry in here. I have this pouch here. And I have this little like flashlight magnetic thing inside of here. Because this is a pouch that I usually, if I'm just going out with my husband real quick to run some errands, I would take this because I have an actual two Bibles in here, some journals. I have highlighters. I have a video sharing what i carry inside of this pouch if you're interested i believe i released that one before this video i will link it down below just in case though if you are interested so that way you guys can see what's inside of this one i don't want to go over that again okay so i do carry that inside this bag because like i said this is a bag i keep right next to me sometimes when i go to sleep i usually pull a chair up to my bedside and i'll put the bible back there another thing that i carry inside of here pens you can never have too many pens oops and these pens here i picked them up at the walmart and you have the pastel colors and the bright colors i absolutely love these these are a very fine tip perfect for writing in small bibles and journals so i carry that in here i also keep this little yellow organizer it's a coupon organizer and all i did was add a ton of like cute little sticky notes in here inside of this little flap that way um, they can stay put and it doesn't work that much but I mean it keeps them nice and flat in here without getting crushed and that's all I keep in here sticky notes sticky notes you can never have enough sticky notes right <laughs> so that's inside of here and look these are actually crushed so let me just fix that real quick this moved all right so that's what I keep inside of here. Let me move this off to the side. And then I carry this book as well. This is a book that I currently started reading. And I highly recommend this book from what I've read already. Guys, if you are going through a tough time in your marriage, uh, this is a perfect book for that. And um, I just, I don't know what took me so long to get into this book. I've had this book forever. So then... Um, I have this little organizer here. I purchased this from a little Etsy shop. And what this is, is just a giant like little folder with a bunch of pockets. Pockets here, pocket back here, a pocket over here. You have a pocket right here. And I just carry sticky note stickers. These are all like my faith-based stickers right here. And then um, I put some of my girls here. This is also a pocket. I'm talking about you could like jam pack this baby with stickers. And that's exactly what I did. So I, I got that in here as well. And then I have these two little pouches. This pouch here, I carry some double-sided tape, some scissors. 
and then these little like plastic overlays and I will show you guys how I use these. These are actually uh, sheet protectors that I cut down to fit my pocket Bible. I use those for art journaling. And then inside of this little pouch, I have a ton of little bits and bobs of ephemera and little things that I can add to my journaling on the go and to my little pocket art Bible. I also have sticker books. You can never have enough stickers. I absolutely love cutesy, colorful, kawaii items, as you can tell. <laughs> so I have a ton of sticker books. And then I also carry this devotional. This devotional is by In Touch Ministries. Oops, I almost showed my address. And that is the name of them. And they are very, very... Uh, the teacher, Charles Stanley. I absolutely love all his devotionals. It's always a timely message with him. Then I have this fuzzy pouch. I was gifted this for Christmas by my husband. And inside of here, I carry uh, sticky notes and then a scratch pad. So this scratch pad here is where I like to take down notes before I actually put them and commit them to like my pretty journals. I have this thing where I don't want to put ugly handwriting inside my little pocket journals. I don't know, but I carry... A scratch pad that way I can just transfer my notes when I actually sit down and do it you know and then I have more sticky notes of course this is just a little contraption that I got from the Dollar Tree with a ton of sticky notes so as you can tell yeah I am stuffed <laughs> with sticky notes ah my goodness so then I also carry this little fuzzy Bible pouch with me and this actually carries a Bible and then this was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. I absolutely love this pouch. She gave it to me a couple years back for Mother's Day. And I just love how soft and fuzzy it is. And then this was made to me for me for my birthday by Crafty Pink Lady or Pink Crazy. I absolutely love this. And ever since she gave it to me, I knew exactly where I wanted it. And it was on this Bible. So inside of here, I'm not even sure if I shared this with you already. This was something that I made years back when I first started making my own little travels notebooks. And I made this out of a Target dollar spot pouch. It was one of these little like holographic pouches. And I love hollow and everything sparkly. And I had turned it into a little shaker. And I recently reinforced the stitching with a sewing machine. So inside of here, what I ended up doing was I put two different little books that I received or I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And this was what I used to carry at first. I would always carry this with me when I was out and about. Because this is a pocket Bible here. And this was one of those things where I set it up in my style aesthetic. Because I always say, customize your experience with the Lord. It's like, whatever helps you get into the Word. Make it pretty. Make it sparkly. Make it just in your style. And you're going to be more drawn to it. So here is the cover for this book here. It's the NLT Bible Promise for Tough Times. And it's just a ton of like different little verses and things. Bookmark I made. Verses that will help encourage you during those hard moments. I covered it with washi tape and then I put some sticky notes back here. Here I have this Bible. I took a cover from a journal and I just covered my Bible with it. And it is this uh, New Believers Bible Pocket Testament from Greg Laurie. Greg Laurie is another teacher that I absolutely love as well. He has these Bibles where he has these little like corner stones and milestones and little things, you know, and I always figure, you know, I could just learn from it. So I did study a couple things out of this Bible because this was the one that I would carry with me at first. Galatians is a book that I love to study, study a lot. <laughs> so, of course, you know, I already had I read through that. I read through Ephesians. And yeah, so then here's another little bookmark I made. Just keep it in there. So that is the Bible. Then here I have another one of these books. I just covered it with pretty paper. And this is the Bible promise book for women. And it's just a bunch of promises for, you know, women. And I always find that whenever you have the scriptures, if you just have the like the reading plans, they just give you the scriptures. Sometimes we won't tend to like go through with them. But if you have the actual scriptures written out and you flip through them and stuff, 
then it's just like instant it's like medicine you know you have it readily available right there whenever you're going through a tough time you know sometimes i just come in here and be like lord like just give me something today and i'll open it and you know it'll be something like encouraging <laughs> so here we have a journal and it's just lined paper in case i want to take some kind of notes something you know ministered to me and that's why i keep a lot of sticky notes because i always like i said I like to transfer sticky notes and then um, take the notes on there and transfer it into the notebooks because i would hate to ruin a good notebook with chicken scratch handwriting so then here's the back of that and then here is a clear a blank page notebook and this was meant for sketching so that whenever i was out and about i could sketch uh like i said this is something that i would carry with me at first and this is something that would help me whenever my husband would get on to the expressway i am terrified of the expressways guys i do not like high speed anything <laughs> so um this here was one that i would carry with me at all times and it was it's still so loved guys i love it so so much and lastly i have this pouch here that was a gift for christmas and this little uh pocket thing i made out of an old planner and it just has a whole bunch of washi tape inside of it and it's just a little thing that i made <laughs> Because the uh, Michaels used to sell these little washi tape books. And I didn't get my hands on them. They were sold out. So I was like, you know what? They had this beautiful cover. And I just decided to turn it into one of these with these little like pocket letter sleeves. And I just put a ton of the washi tape that I absolutely love. Let me just do a quick little flip here. Oh, excuse me. And I said if I ever have to evacuate or anything at least i have these little washi samples from some of my favorite washies that i own and i know that's the last thing i should be worried about when you're told to evacuate right but make it make sense in my head <laughs> so then inside of this pouch oh, i absolutely love this pouch the hollow color or just the bright pink and jelly that's so my thing so here's the little pocket bible and guys excuse my thumbnails oh my gosh I was helping my kids build some Lego sets that we purchased for Christmas. And yeah, those things are like so hard to come off. And I chipped both my thumbnails trying to get into the uh, detach the little Lego pieces. Oh my goodness. If you build Legos with your kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyways, back to the point. This little pocket Bible here is my art journaling on the go Bible. And this one... I have a reading plan here that I just recently printed and stuck in here in case, you know, I did read out of here. But this is just mainly for creative purposes. And inside of here, let me just show you some of the art pages I've done. So I have these like little, these are actually little sheets from the Dollar Tree. And they're like for pressing patties. It's like that parchment paper. And all I did was do some painting on there and made a page or here because I thought it'd be cute to have a little pocket Bible where you art journal in. And on this one, I don't cover the pages. That's what I use these little like clear overlays for because I want to be able to save this Bible since um, I don't know exactly where they got these Bibles from. These are Bibles I found at Goodwill and I thought they were cute because they were like little pocket Bibles. So all I do is like highlight verses and things like that as far as like writing on the actual pages goes. But here are some of the little journal pages that I have done in here. And all I do is take like a specific verse and journal or art creatively express that. Um, let me see. Here's another one. And I thought it was so cute. I have a little art journal. I do have a bigger one that I do... Do some art journaling and, and that's one of my goals for 2023 is to be more creative in the word of god with that one bible in specific let me see real quick so here is my actual art journaling bible and this was gifted to me by my sister his little sparrow christina and this is a translation that i don't read so that's why i didn't have a problem um doing art journaling on this one so let me just show you a quick page one of my favorite pages and I actually turned this one into a little die cut. It's this one here. I absolutely love this um, page. This one is um, 
supposed to be me and Christina because <laughs> we both love crafting and planning and you know Bible journaling and that's why I drew this like this and I just kind of did all the colorful things in there so this is one of those Bibles that I don't mind getting in and just painting and covering the word in because it's a translation I don't read and it's specifically for that <laughs> so if you want to flip through of this Bible please let me know and I will be more than glad to show you so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this to the side and so yeah this is my little pocket version of that except I don't cover the words in this one so and I do have like two little journals in the back in case I want to take some notes or something you know I always always give myself room for journals journaling then I have this one so this is the little planner Bible or I, I purchased this on Etsy and I'm actually trying to use this to take my like sermon notes. I made this little like dangle some years back and I thought it went cute with this little journal and I put this from Michael's on here. And this is where I want to take like my sermon notes when I'm on the go at the ch like at church. I just decorated it in my aesthetic. I absolutely love <laughs> color as you can tell. Here's the little journaling card I made with my art. And it's like a little sparkly glittery. I included those in the orders that people purchased Bibles from me. And I put those inside of those orders. And yeah, I just love this, how it looks. It's a bunch of blank pages or blank journals ready to be written in with a bunch of little nuggets, as I like to call them. So I just haven't written in it because I'm just so, I'm chicken. Oh, and I dropped the pen. I just made a little pen loop for this pen and yeah this is actually one of those Dollar Tree pens and I removed the stylus and I crazy glued a gem on top because I don't like how that tip looked so just in case if you bought one of those little planner Bibles for me I still have this one available um, here's the little pen loop it has this like stylus well I just removed that and I added a diamond so just an idea and if you're interested, I still have the Flourish Bible available for sale. Quick little plug. <laughs> and the last thing inside of this ginormous bag was this little TN that I made years ago. Now this little TN, I had decorated it and everything and I shelved it. Didn't know what to use it for. But I finally figured it out. And I want to make this personal with me and the Lord where I put my own like psalms or like little things of songs of praise that I write for the Lord you know like just when I am feeling overwhelmed with whatever feeling it is I'm feeling in a second in the moment I want to express that in into like journal and proverb form if you will or a psalm form for the Lord so I just put a little heart that says bay on there because the Lord has my heart <laughs> so when you open it, it's all set up and colorful, like I love it. And I did start using this already. I started writing some very personal things in here for God. And it's a very, very fun thing that I'm trying to add to my lineup. So here's another journal. I just decorated them with some art from Jane Davenport. I have this little feather here with the gem. And I love color, guys. I can't say that enough. And I'm sure you guys can see that as well. And then here's what inspired me to name this my little secret garden, like the treasures of my heart. Um, it's this little die cut that says her heart was a secret garden. And these are some flowers my baby got me from our garden and I stapled them there. And I just like, I thought this was perfect for me to just come in here and I may not always write in it, but it's here and ready for me to just, you know, put my thoughts and little like psalms to the lord in so guys that is a quick flip i hope it was quick well no it's actually 20 minutes long that is what i carry inside my bag with me guys um i hope you found some inspiration i hope you guys are encouraged and just set up a little bag with you that you can carry with you from room to room with things that you just love so that you can be in the word of god and have a successful walk with him um, I pray that you found encouragement. And again, I hope you all have a wonderful day. 
I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any comments, questions, just please leave them down below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. God bless you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.